Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given exponential equation as you can see over here. So we got 4 power x plus 6 power x equals to 2 times 9 power x. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here I have just copied this equation down right over here and let's focus on this very first term 4 as we know that 4 could be written as 2 power 2 and then power x plus this 6 could be written as 2 times 3 and then power x equals to 2 times this 9 I can write as 3 power 2 and then power x now let's focus on very first term this one 2 power 2 and then power x I have just copied it down over here so then according to this power rule this could be written as 2 power 2x just multiply these two nested exponents and now let's focus on once again this thing 2 power 2x could again be written as using the same rule as 2 power x and then power 2 so far so good so that means I can just replace this very first term by 2 power x and then power 2 plus these things I can break them down I can write 2 power x times 3 power x according to rules of exponent equal to 2 times and now let's focus on this thing 3 power 2 and then power x I have just copied it down over here and by using the same power rule I can write is 3 power x and then power 2 so let me just go ahead and replace that one by 3 power x and then power 2 now let's focus on this 2 power x and 2 power x right up here let me call this I'm going to call let uh, a equals to 2 power x I'm going to substitute that one and now let's look at this 3 power x and then this 3 power x so I'm going to say b equal to 3 power x so therefore our equation this equation after substitution is going to look like this thing a square plus a times b equal to 2b square let's move this 2b square on the left hand side so that's going to become a square plus a b minus 2b square and now let's look at this thing a square plus a b minus 2b square this is a quadratic equation we can easily solve it by using quadratic formula or by factoring let me show you an easy way to do the factoring for that one I have just copied it down over here this expression part let me show you how to manipulate this expression so we can easily uh, factorize it so here positive a b could be written as 2 a b minus a b doesn't make any difference isn't it so this could be written as then a square plus 2 a b minus a b and then minus 2 b square let's focus on this first pair over here we can see I can factor out a if I factor out a which is common so this could be written as a plus 2 b likewise in this second pair we can easily factor out negative b so we can have a, in the parentheses we're going to have a plus 2 b and now we can see that this is in common in both of them so I can write as a plus 2 b times a minus b let's revert back to our original equation over here so this equation could be factored out as uh, a plus 2 b times a minus b equal to 0 and now let's go ahead and separate these two factors just split them a plus 2 b 
equal to zero and this side is going to be a minus b equal to zero this tells us that a equals to negative 2b and here a equals to b and now let's focus on this first equation i have just copied it down over here and now let me go ahead and divide both sides by b so we got a over b equals to negative 2 we know that a is 2 power x and b is 3 power s so i can write them as 2 power x divided by 3 power x equal to negative 2 or simply 2 over 3 power x equals to negative 2 so therefore let's revert back to our this original equation here i can just write down 2 divided by 3 power x equals to negative 2 now let's focus on this second part a equals to b i have just copied it down over here and now let me go ahead and divide both sides by b all right so this become a over b equals to 1 and we know that a equals to 2 power x and b is 3 power x let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so this is 2 power x divided by 3 power x equal to 1 or simply i can write 2 divided by 3 whole power x equal to 1 so let's revert back to our this equation a equals to b this could be written as this one 2 divided by 3 and then power x equals to 1 now let's once again focus on this first equation 2 divided by 3 power x equal to negative 2 i have just copied it down over here and we know that this exponential function cannot be negative so therefore we are going to reject discard this part therefore we are going to accept this part and let me go ahead and just copy it down over here 2 divided by 3 power x equal to 1 and now let's manipulate a little bit one could be written as 2 divided by 3 power 0 so i can write this thing as 2 divided by 3 power x equal to 2 divided by 3 power 0 and we can see that our base is same on both sides so therefore we conclude that these exponent are equal so x turns out to be zero so thus our solution is x equal to zero thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye